TSSTs. It is Vlogmas Day 5. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all, this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. How are y'all doing on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday here in Savannah? <laughs> it's beautiful today. Um, before I get into this, don't forget to like this video. Leave your comments down below. And... Don't forget to check out my online stores as well as my website. Everything is in the description box. So, this is what I want to just stop by to say a little something for the soul Sunday. And that is, y'all, no matter what your situation is, be thankful, be grateful. Because no matter what you're going through, it can always, always be worse. This time of the year... A lot of people tend to focus on what they don't have. But I'm challenging everybody to focus on what you do have. Because no matter what you got or what you think you don't have, somebody will love to trade places with you. And I'm going to tell you, this year, 2021, has made me appreciative of a lot of things. It has made me, it has caused me to step out of my comfort zone time and time and time again but i thank god for that because in stepping out of my comfort zone i have grown in leaps and bounds even in the areas where i have fallen and i'm having to start over or start I ain't starting over i'm starting where i well i fell at just standing back up and getting and keeping it going i still see the growth it is easy to give up but it's hard to keep going. And I'm so thankful for the strength. I am so much stronger than I ever realized that I was or could be. When I look back over things in my life and I realize, hey, it was so many situations that I went through that I did not think I could make it through. But look at me. I'm still here and I'm still standing. So guess what? No matter what you're going through, if you just press your way through it, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it. It doesn't matter what the next person is thinking about you or what they saying about you. Because understand something, what success look like to you don't look like to the next person. And what look, their success look like to them, you are not going to feel the same way. The worst thing you could do is compare your situation or yourself to somebody else. We are all different. We are all individuals. What a boring world this would be if every single body was exactly the same. So don't beat up on yourself. I'm not beating up on myself with the with me falling back. I just know I wasn't gonna stay there. There you go. It doesn't, it's okay to fall back. It's okay to fall. Just don't stay down. When you fall, get the strength. To get back up and dust yourself off and keep it moving. Because you are the determining factor in your life. You're the determining factor of, of whether or not you will make it. You are the determining factor of whether or not you will fail. Because at the end of the day, when you fall, when something don't work one way, it just told you what to scratch off the list. Not to try that again, but try a different way and do it a different way. This holiday season, don't get caught up in, oh, I don't have the finances. I don't have the money to do what I want to do or to, to give the way I want to give. Sometimes all a person needs is to know that you care, to know that you're even thinking about them. So don't allow social media, don't allow department stores or even what other people are putting up on their stories or whatever, don't allow that to make you feel like you any less than who you really are. So many times people will talk about you and they will try to downgrade you and they will try to point out what's not right in you or try to compare you to somebody else simply because they just trying to take the attention off of them. They're trying to deflect the attention from themselves and put it somewhere else. Because as long as I'm talking about you, as long as I got you distracted with what I'm saying negative about you, you go get so caught up in what I'm saying, you ain't going to see all this stuff that's wrong with me. And that's what, a, that's what a lot of people do. They have mastered the art of deflection. 
Because if I talk about you, if I tell you, you should be doing better in life, or you should be further alone, or you shouldn't be with this person, or you should be with that person, X, Y, Z. If I'm telling you all that, then guess what? You going to get so caught up in what I'm saying, you ain't going to see that I'm in the same boat you in, or worse. But I just have mastered how to put on this facade. I have mastered how to present something other than what it really is because I have I have learned how to not let people see me. But if I'm talking about you, they ain't got time to look at me. So with that being said, love on yourself. No matter, I, I saw something, I was reading something no, I was looking at something, and it was uh, the, it was the saying that I read that somebody had wrote, and it said, "One of the keys to happiness is a bad memory." And when I read it, I said, "That is so true," because a lot of times, if you can remember everything that you went through, nine times out of ten, you're gonna stay stuck there. A lot of times people can't even see the change or the good or can't even imagine giving something another chance or another try because they're so stuck in what, what happened back then. And I'm like, you know, that was one thing that I had said years ago about myself. And I, I laughed when I read it because I'm like, wow, that is so true. And that's probably, and I said that, but just not using those exact words because I'm like, on one hand, I have this ability to remember things and remember all the details, but then I have this other ability to forget things. And when I forget them, I forget them, all the details. Because if it wasn't something, I realized that either I was holding on to stuff that caused me a lot of pain or things that caused that made me extremely happy. But anything in between or was about to make me feel bad or if I just really want to forgive a person because I just don't like being upset. I don't like carrying all that. I learned how to let things go. And I tell you, I would forget. I would really forget. Um, and I used to think that was kind of like a bad thing. But I'm like, no, that's a good thing because there are some hurtful things that have happened or things that were just wasn't pleasant, or things that were said or done, that had I continued to keep remembering them, I would have kept reliving them. And I'm so happy that I have that ability to let things go. And I'm saying it to say this. If you are the person, the type of person that don't know how to let things go, Begin, if that's what you really want to do, if you want to learn how to let things go, to forgive and, and forget and move on so that you can be happy. Because, see, that's all this is about. Forgiving and forgetting ain't about the other person. It's about you. And if you really want to do that, you got to begin to pray about it. And you got to begin to speak that thing into existence. Because, again, if it's not going to matter in five years, don't waste no more than five minutes being upset about it. Stop allowing people and things to control you because understand that which angers you also controls you because at the moment that it makes you angry, you are solely reacting off of that emotion that goes along with that anger. But when you learn how to control your emotions and not react out of emotions, you will begin to see every single thing change around you including the people because when people know they can get a reaction out of you they do just that why because if you act in that ass then it takes the focus off of them so y'all go about your day enjoy yourself have a wonderful wonderful day be blessed be blessed, be blessed, and I hope this is a little something for your soul that will help you out. Please don't forget to like this video, leave your comments down below, and share this video with any and everybody that you think will help. I love you, my BSSTs, and I will see you all when.